uh, any remarks to make, and first I'd like to invite His Excellency Mr. Janana Gusmao to share a few concluding thoughts if, if he, he wish, kindly wishes to. You have the floor, uh, Excellency Gusmao. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I will thank everybody for the support. I know it was from your heart because we experienced this for long ago. And during the most difficult times, that is why I thank you very, very much for continuing to help us. Now, as working in the G7 Plus, I hope that um, through PBC, please, we can hold our hands to try to help other countries. I don't know if you know already how many and uh, which countries. I can tell you Afghanistan, Burundi, Central African Republic, Chad, Comores, Côte d'Ivoire, Ivoire, Democratic Republic of Congo, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Haiti, very nearby. So problematic. So difficult the life there. Yemen, Togo, South Sudan, in a step for peace, but they still need, they still need our presence there, they still need the presence of PBC there to help them to reconcile, to make dialogue. Months later, after their independence, they came to war amongst them. <laughs> so difficult. That is why when we talk about leadership, yes, leadership, we have to form new leaders in each country. New leaders, not a leader. Just to <laughs> talk to each other. Somalia, Solomon Island, far away, Sierra Leone, San Tome and Principe, Papua New Guinea, far away also from here, Liberia. Yeah, please, if you get a sandwich in your house and you see that there are people living with hunger, give some to them. We don't say that we are all ready. No, we are in the process of consolidating. Thank you for your support. You all said we will continue, we will continue to support Timor-Leste. Thank you very much. But now, share the sandwich that we have to others in hunger. I remember, I believe it was in Solomon Island with the UNSCR. We could get we many, many countries asking for help and Santomé Principe was one that asked for a few millions 
to, to, to start doing something in their country. We got, they didn't. And the UN said, no. Oh, just, um, uh, not UNCR, UNDP said, you didn't get because you didn't follow all the process. And they said, we are not rich, but we have little money. That is why, please, give to San Tome. Give to San Tome because they are in need. They, need. they have nothing. That is what I ask you. Yes, we continue to need your help, yes. But, please, peace building in the world is so important, so important. Now, we'll open the television, it is Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. I'm not against Ukraine, I'm against Russia because they invaded. <laughs> but, so many people dying in conflict countries, nothing. Nothing. We just go with humanitarian assistance. We just go with, oh my God. We have to change our behaviors, our activities, our help. Please, we together can build peace in the world. And we can't. We can't with PBC. PBC with us, we started in the conflict affected countries. Just go there, together, to talk to them. I believe they, they will do, they will understand us. But if we go there to doctrinate, it will be very difficult to them to accept. But if we approach to listen to them, to listen to each party, each group, and put them together. I did this in some, some places. Listen to each one, and after that, they come together. Not yet, it is because there are other parties also with some interest. Thank you very much for continuing to help Timor-Leste, but please, we can, with PBC, we can work together and the world will live in peace. <laughs> so problematic. So many people die. Now we talk about women empowering me, women, but there are so many women dying in the world, so many children. And uh, we, we just approach with humanitarian aid, humanitarian aid, don't solve the crisis. Please, we can work together. The world can come and live in peace. I believe that because I see I can see this in your eyes and I can read this in your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your very insightful and passionate reflections.